You guys, I am actually going to Hi guys. How's it hanging? I just got off of work. Um, I look bundled. It's really because I have like a dry fit on under this sweater. Really because I just didn't feel like putting it in my layers in my bags. I literally have two bags on my shoulders. Um, but just saying hi. Just got off of work. I customized my shift today because um, it's my day off so I was able to customize my shift did a little 12 to 8 action so I can still get some morning stuff done but still get home at a reasonable time there's a lot going on at the farmer's market today the girl in the clown makeup ranting about something Farmer's market is lit right now. I really should have come earlier, but I just was rolling around in bed. Like I was really on some chill shit, and now I'm kind of regretting it because there's so much going on. I'm done my shopping. I'm waiting for my Uber home. I got so much from the farmer's market. Like, look at my bag, one bag, two bags. I'm so happy that I bought this bag with me because. When I buy stuff, there's like heavy stuff and there's light stuff. There's my mushrooms I don't want to get squished. I always buy tomatoes I don't want to get squished. Whatever fruit I don't want to get squished. And the heavy stuff outweighs the light stuff. And so I struggle with smashing my things. So I bought this blue bag today. Love her. And it has my mushrooms, my herbs, my light things in there. Heavy stuff in here, heavy stuff in there. We love organization. We love um, stores evolution um but yeah i'm just waiting for uber a very it's very pop in here at the farmer's market like i need to maybe before it gets cold at least vend out here like once or twice every time i see bread i want some so bad but i don't want the bread that they have there like bread sounds good but at the same time i need to stay away from her because i od on bread i do i get crazy with bread I got a good amount of stuff. I'm going to plan my meals for the week. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually sit down, write them out, plan my meals so that I have no excuses this week to buy anything. I can't get lazy. I'm going to cook probably like two things today for like two or three days or something like that. So that by Wednesday or by Tuesday, I'll have to cook again, but I'll already know what I want to make. So we got to be proactive and smart because we got money to save, moves to make. for the last two and a half hours it's 2 30 right now when i came in it was 12. so i've been cooking for the last two and a half hours i got a lot done though i made lentils greens i showed you that i just sauteed some zucchini red cabbage and red bell peppers and then i have sweet potatoes in the oven currently so after I put all my groceries away, I did start cooking. I started with some greens and this is lentils in here. So got the two things that will take the longest to cook cooking up first. Here's the zucchini cabbage pepper situation. Very good. Lentils are pretty much done. I'm just letting them simmer right now. They're done, and then greens done. Yeah, we love it. Hi guys, it is Monday, Monday, September 16th. Taking a walk. Um, I did not do strength training today. I might like do some planks when I get back in the house, but. It might just be walking for me today. I've been on a weight gain. 
main journey. Starting off at 106 pounds. I'm currently at 112. I only want to maintain like 115, 120. So I'm, I'm halfway there basically. More than halfway there. Um, I just want to have a little more weight on me. To, I don't know, change it up a little bit. I've been a hundred and something pounds, hundred and like under 110 for like a couple years now. So just trying to maintain a higher weight, get a little bit more muscle, um, just feel a little bit more healthier, even though I am very healthy. I went to the doctors like last week and all my vitals were in normal standing. Great. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. Hi guys. So. I'm eating chicory hash browns right now. They were surprised. My auntie, she just brought them on. She was like, I don't know if you eat chick fil potatoes. I said, I don't know if I've even had them before. But I appreciate her. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday the 21st. Wow, the 21st of September is almost over. Um, the 21st, I'm about to go to the farmer's market. I got up at about 9.15. And if it wasn't for my aunt coming in, I probably would have just been getting out the bed now. It's like almost 10 right now. But... I was about to sit here and roll my weed up, but I'm not gonna lie. I should definitely get there ASAP Rocky because last week it was so many people and I was stressed. I wasn't really stressed, but I was just like, damn. Mad people all the time. I even asked Kiki if she was coming this week because she hasn't come in the last like three or four weeks. So I didn't even ask her. And watch this be the week where she'd be like, Miss Reed, I'm coming. <laughs> My skin looks pretty good. It's a little congested. Like she could definitely do some balancing evening out. Um, I'm so happy that my cold sore is officially gone. I just want to get the scar away. I had this crazy bump that came here. This one you can kind of see under the surface. It keeps like peeking out, going away, peeking out, going away. And then I had like a whole line up here, but they kind of went down um, overnight. Sleep really helps. So <sighs> preparing to get my new well to move into my new place this week coming up. So this is like the lead up week. So. I need to get my electric put in my name for that location. I need to get my Wi-Fi set up, or at least like initiated. I need to get insurance, renter's insurance. I need to order my mattress and pillows and little little things. Um, I need to. Oh, by the way, I got my nails done yesterday. You see me with a little hot chocolate, no more funny bunny. It's fall. Hey. Uh, shout out to Katie. Love her. Did some brown nails yesterday. Very happy about them. Love them. Little cut down, little um, refill. I love it. We do hard gel. So I have like a pinky color hard gel, but then we did brown on top. Super cute. Love her. Tomato to the farmer's market. Um, I won't keep on a matcha, but I'll see, maybe, uh, maybe I'll get one, I think I'll get one, matcha sounds so good right now, I'm gonna get me a little matcha. Got my matcha, got it with sesame milk this place has, it's the only place I've ever saw that has sesame milk. I'm here, I think it's like 1030 or something, maybe around that, maybe a little closer to 1040 pretty packed it's a beautiful day so it makes sense but 
I'm sure I'll be out of here no later than 11 20 I'm gonna call it all right 11 20 The day when I'm actually specifically on a mission for something so specific, they don't have it. When they have it every week. No apple cider vinegar today. They forgot to bring it on the truck. I was supposed to get one for me and my auntie, but then also one of her um, co-workers really needs apple cider vinegar. And I can't believe it. I'm not about to fulfill. I'm not about to fulfill the order, unfortunately. So next week I'm gonna have to get it for us. Luckily we're not, we'll make it through the week with ours, but I really wanted to get some for a coworker. So that's not happening, unfortunately. So I went to all my places. I was gonna go to one more spot to see if I need anything from them, but I might be good, honestly. It's gonna look gauge before I get in the line. Gauge a little bit, see what's popping. I think I need a soap, I might get some soap. I don't think that I need anything from them. I think I'm good. I'm just gonna get some soap, I think. You guys, I am all done. And guess what time it is? 11.15. Yes! We did it. 30 minute farmer's market shop. Mm -hmm. I got everything that I needed. Unfortunately, not the apple cider vinegar. I came across the street where the clothes are. Just to see. Um, I've been resisting buying clothes for a while because I need to move and get comfortable in my new space before I do that But I did get some shea butter. I got a little tiny size just to test it out We're gonna try it out this week on my face and see how she does me um, He has a cool bag. I like that. But I'm happy that I got everything that I need. I feel like I'm a little light But I'll be good for the week. I still have some um, groceries left over. So I think that's why I went lighter but yeah, I'm really happy. I'm just really sad about the apple cider vinegar. Super sad about it. But it's okay. Two minutes away, but just wanted to say today was such a beautiful day at the farmer's market. Like, I don't know. I feel like the vibe was like higher than usual. I feel like there were new people at the farmer's market. Like as far as like the customers go, I don't know. I think like I can just notice when people are new to the farmers market. Everyone was being so positive and so happy. Everyone was happy today. I think it's because the weather is so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. I think that is like the whole reason for it. So good for them and good for us. For real, for real. I'm so happy about it. I'm just chilling, waiting. People have full bags on today. Full accessories. Day. And I'm happy that I got my apples from the place that I got them from and not the other place because their apples are so much bigger and I feel like they're not better but the crimson crisp those are where it's at well I think this is my ubi you guys I am actually going to cry I dropped my bag with my applesauce. I was so excited about this applesauce and it's done. I have to throw it away. Oh my gosh. The applesauce on my mushrooms, just, just terrible. I don't know why I switched the applesauce over to this bag. Look at, look at all the applesauce on the bag. Oh my gosh. I switched my applesauce over to this bag because I thought that having it in a separate bag would be better and so I could have even distribution of weight between all of my bags and at the last second right when I was getting out of my Uber to come back in the house I dropped the bag and I just knew it as soon as I dropped it I said my applesauce is it's over. It's over. It's a done bun. I didn't get to enjoy it. Obviously, someone else needed applesauce more than me. And so, my applesauce is over. And I am distraught. That's the thing. I second-guessed even getting the applesauce. I was like, mm, I'm not going to eat it this week. I don't know. But I picked it up because I thought that I would eat it. 
But no, the ground ate my applesauce. Now I have to like figure out how I'm gonna transfer my mushrooms over somewhere else. I might have to steal her Chick-fil-A bag, honestly. I'm gonna have to steal her Chick-fil-A bag to house my mushrooms because I can't use the bag that they're in if they're compromised completely my mushrooms, look at them. Like, my paper bag is completely compromised. I'm so sad about it. Like, that applesauce was so good last week. I just, I just knew that I was going to get some more this week. But I just, I just knew that I was going to get some more applesauce played like really got so played it's really sad like i don't know why the apple products just weren't working out today i should have just mm. give me one second i had to tell my aunt about the applesauce i just had to i just felt like she was going to understand my pain a little bit so this bag is not that compromised, but it still is compromised. So I, don't, I can't put them in this bag because it's already full. So I'm trying to figure. This lettuce is not done, but it's like almost there. This was the size jar of applesauce that broke. Like literally I have the empty one because I think I'm going to use this as like a money savings jar. But this... 32 ounce jar of applesauce is now done. I swore I was gonna have applesauce for the week. I just, I just swore. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad about it. I just don't understand why this had to happen to me today. Like why, why did I have to lose my applesauce? What did I do? What did I do to deserve to freaking lose my applesauce today? Anyway. I should have left it right in this bag. It was safe in this bag. Why would I transfer it over to a bag? I don't understand why I did that. But I thought it was smarter. I thought it was smarter. Anyway, I got some sweet potatoes. Oh. Like, if I didn't want to smoke before, I definitely want to smoke now. Because that sh just really broke my heart and i hit my pinky toe on the way out of the bathroom like i don't even be trying to claim bad luck days but like the audacity i got carrots i didn't realize that i already had two sweet potatoes so i really do have to make sure that this week and this carrot is old so i need to make sure that i I'm diligent on eating my carrots this week and eating my sweet potatoes this week because obviously I forgot about some of them last week. Squashes because their sweet pot um their zucchinis look weird. Um I've been usually getting zucchinis, but like I said, they were like they're very few and far between anyway, and they looked weird. I got a bunch of cherry tomatoes because I love tomatoes these days. Green beans because they were really good last week when I made them. Um, what else? Spinach because I like to get her every week. Spinach has like what magnesium up in there. Very good for you. Um, an onion and a pepper and just to feel something. Um, what else did I get? I got mouthwash and soap. So when I start my at my new place, I won't need to buy soap. I got my crimson crisp apples that I showed you guys. My pinky toe hurts so bad. Like I don't understand why when I got on my way back here, like bad vibes kicked in. I got an empanada today. I really treat it. I like to treat myself on farmer's market day. So I got a matcha, a muffin, and empanada. And I thought that I was treating myself with some applesauce. I 
I'm so distraught about it. So distraught about it. This is my muffin. Pumpkin chocolate chip. We're gonna see about her. She smells nice. I love my Saturdays. I just really do. I love my Saturdays. I love, oh, I got, this is the uh, cocoa butter, shea butter that I got. Nature's Dream Cream or Nani's. So I'm to say Nature's. Nani's Dream Cream. Hand whipped. No fragrance. Blue. Okay. Period. So now I just got to figure out where I'm going to put these other mushrooms. And I got to clean my bag out and clean the floor because apple juice spilled on the floor got all the groceries put away and stuff <clears throat> talked to my sister and my cousin on the phone for a few minutes just to catch up chat um see when i'm going to see my new baby nephew shout out to my sister um her new channel name is mommy in black i don't think it's a neutral mom anymore i think it's mommy in black so i will link her down there as well um, but yeah, I'm just sitting at the park by my aunties. I just want to smoke in peace in a nice setting. So I'm sitting at this little bench table situation to do my thing and think about my thoughts and watch Joe Budden because it is Saturday. Uh, that's the thing. I love my Saturdays. I love when me and Kiki go to the farmer's market together. I miss her. I hope she's doing okay. I didn't talk to her uh, this week, but, um... I love when I'm at the farmer's market by myself because I get to listen to Joseph and just listen to what's going on. Today's podcast is pretty good because they're talking about the diddler. Um, so that's interesting. But I've um having a good day, honestly. Um, I did a really good thing as far as like my budgeting for this week, this past week. So. I'm going to continue doing it for this upcoming week because it really worked. So what I did was when I got paid my paycheck last week, I took out $400 towards my groceries or any food that I would want to buy for the next two weeks. So I really, on at the farmer's market, I spend between like $100 and like $140 a week, depending on what I need. And that's including... Um, any skincare that I might need because skincare from the farmer's market I probably buy like every like for my face cleanser I probably buy it like every two months or so maybe every three it lasts a very long time and then my body butter that I use I probably buy that like once a month if not like every two weeks so there's usually one week in a month at the farmer's market while, where I know I'll at least have to buy like a new soap, maybe toothpaste, body butter, that type of stuff. And then the next week I know it's strictly food because I have that stuff. And then that stuff will last me two weeks or more. So this was a week that I didn't have to buy body butter, but I did buy a soap and I bought mouthwash. Really just so I can um, not have to buy stuff next week before, right before I move. Um, so I bought the soap and the mouthwash this week, but everything else was just food this week. So I spent maybe at the farmer's market today, I spent 120 I think, but that's including my matcha that I bought, my muffin, my empanada, like all the little extra little miscellaneous stuff, my little treats, all of that included. I think I spent like 120 maybe, maybe like 115 ish. Um, that's including everything so that was really good and then next week i think i'll be buying less because i will have most of my body stuff i think it might be time for a new body butter next week but i might be able to push it so yeah so that was a really helpful thing that i did was immediately take out my grocery money and then with that i immediately put my savings away towards my rent um so i immediately took away like Fourteen fifty, and then all the rest of the money was for whatever I needed to do just personally or just you know so I bought stuff from Amazon which was like two hundred and like forty dollars or something like that and then I sent money away to my one of my credit cards 
and then all the rest of the money was for me whether I went to the I did buy a couple snacks this week um I did um have to take a couple ubers this week and what else did I do that's pretty much it I went to the I went to Fresh Grocer just to uh pick up a couple things that I can get from the farmer's market like my plantains that I ate yesterday and a couple more um cans of chickpeas and I've been getting protein shakes as well to um to support my weight gain journey my working out so that's where extra money went as well but I think at the grocery at the grocery store I took it out of my $400 grocery fund and I was able to give my auntie some money so I did really good on my money this past week from my last paycheck so I just have to get through this week without really spending any extra money I'm only going to aim to spend like the cash in my wallet um and yeah I don't aim to spend any extra money except on any uber that I have to get from work or something and um public transportation to work and that's really only going to be on Thursday and Friday unless I pick up overtime or something so I'm doing good I'm doing really good so that's going to be my new strategy for money coming up as I transition into my place because I have to be just like very organized so that's what I'm going to do this week coming up. I do get paid at the end of this week coming up. So I'll be doing the same thing. Taking out money. Sending away money. Being organized with it. I feel good about it. I feel good about it too. Like I'm not going to lie. I feel really good about it. So yeah. Just wanted to share that. So I can hold myself accountable. And share a new type of. I don't know. Savings. Or just like budgeting it's really not budgeting but it's like it's kind of budgeting but at the same time it's just like money organization it's just really about being organized oh kira says she misses me i miss her too she moved to new york i'm so proud of her my goodness like i'm so proud of kira she is really doing her thing in new york she's living in brooklyn and she's just modeling her life away like she moved there i don't know a few months ago but she um got herself set up to be you know participating in fashion week and that was beautiful for her she did so many shows she was featured on vogue runway she was featured on vogue.com shout out to her um i love her and i'm so proud of her truly i'm so grateful that i connected with her and I saw something in her when I did because I really saw something in her. Like, I know a good model. What the hell is he about to do? What does that shit say? American Cornhole Association? Cornhole. What the fuck is cornhole? That's a sport? Cornhole? Hell if I know. Um, well, this guy's got a whole package, so we're about to. I love sitting in a park or something and watching somebody bring like a bag and just unload their bag and see what they got going on in there. Are they together with him? Oh, they're with him. Or are they just deciding that they're gonna sit there? Oh, they decided they're gonna sit there. This is really funny. People are so funny because there was another bench for them, but like they decided, like, oh no, we're gonna just like. Oh no, they're with him. People, yo, I act just like my mom and my aunt when it comes to like people watching. Like they will legit sit up and just watch somebody do their shit and just like narrate and commentate on the whole fucking thing. Oh, cornhole, that's what that game is called? Cornhole? Where they are throwing the little bean bags in the, the holes? That's what he just pulled out of his bag, I think. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Oh okay i can get down with that it was looking a little sketch you know sometimes when you see a certain type of man with a large bag unloading it gets a little scary sometimes you got to keep your eyes out as a black person you got to watch out make sure you ain't nothing sketch going on you got to all right well now i know that i'm safe i'm gonna smoke now and watch joseph in peace and watch them play cornhole whenever they start 
that should be interesting i forgot my water how did i do that but well, hopefully i won't need it guys i'm about to transfer my files over to my computer but i'm eating the pumpkin uh, chocolate chip muffin it's so good i'm i'm leaving out actually with my cousin and my aunt to hang out with them and run errands and so i'm just munching on it but if i was sitting here i wanted to make some tea I still didn't eat breakfast yet. Or like lunch. It's like one something. Still didn't eat. I'm gonna eat this. Eat my protein. Let me drink my protein shake. Maybe while I'm with them. I can actually warm up some of my food right now. But for some reason, I don't want to. I think I just want to be on fluids right now. And small things that are cool. I don't know. Just wanted to update you.